Hi everyone, I hope you managed to get a look at the movements video and I hope you managed to get a look at the terminology video as well because it's going to make looking at these muscles just a little bit easier for you. So first of all, I want to do a really quick sort of speed run through all the muscles we're going to talk about, okay? So first of all, here we've got tibia, the one anterior, tibialis anterior. We go across, we have the one that splits into four tendons going to these four toes. It's quite a long muscle and it's going to extend the toes. Extensor digitorum longus. Underneath extensor digitorum longus is gonna be the muscle that does the exact same thing to the big toe. So that one's gonna be extensor hallucis longus. We then go on to the lateral compartment. What we've got here is two muscles attaching to the fibula, and one of them is attaching quite high up, one of them is attaching quite low down. So we've got fibularis longus, and fibularis brevis. These both come down here and attach down here. So now we get to the posterior aspect of the leg. So here we've got this quite big muscle at the back called gastromemius. This one here, it's got two heads, a medial and a lateral one. These then come down and insert onto the calcaneus bone through what we would call the calcaneal tendon or the Achilles tendon. Now underneath gastronemius, we've got the soleus muscle. Now it might only be a, a little bit easy to see, but the other muscle we've got is this one here called plantaris. And it's this one that becomes quite tenderness here and it tracks down and also inserts onto that calcaneal tendon, okay? So these three superficial muscles all insert onto the calcaneal tendon. We take off that superficial group and we're left with three more muscles, okay? We've got one muscle that's behind the tibia, therefore tibialis posterior. We've then got one muscle that's going to flex the big toe, and we've got another muscle that's gonna flex the rest of the digits. Therefore, we have got a flexor hallucis longus and a flexor digitorum longus, okay? Pretty much the exact opposite to the anterior compartment. Now, if we go through those a little bit slower, so like I said, we have the tibia here, okay? We can see that on there. It's the main weight-bearing bone of a leg. And so we've got this one muscle that's anterior to it, so tibialis anterior. We then have this one here, splitting into the four tendons, going to these four toes. That's gonna make it the extensor digitorum longus, because it's going to the top, it's gonna help to extend the toes like this. We then have underneath extensor digitorum longus, extensor hallucis longus. We then follow it around again. We come into the lateral compartment of the leg where we've got one muscle higher up and one muscle lower down, both attaching to the fibula, therefore a fibularis longus and a fibularis brevis, which we can see here, fibularis longus and fibularis brevis. Then on the posterior side, we have all of those superficial muscles inserting into the calcaneus via that calcaneal tendon, okay? Sometimes called the Achilles tendon, which you might have heard of it before. So again, gastrocnemius or gastronemius tells you it's got a big belly, should we say? So in this case, we've got two. We've got a medial and a lateral one. How do we know which one's the lateral one? Look for the little toe. Little toe, lateral fibula, okay? So fibula, is on the side of the pinky toe. It's also the lateral one. So little toe has an L, lateral has an L, and fibula has an L. So here we have the lateral, here we have the medial. Underneath gastronemius, we've got the soleus muscle. We've also got the plantaris muscle, which has got quite a long tendon on it. Now underneath the superficial ones, we've pretty much got the three antagonist muscles to the anterior compartment, okay? That makes sense. If we've got an anterior compartment and a posterior compartment, it makes sense that they're gonna be sort of working against each other. So instead of having a muscle anterior to the tibia, we've got a muscle posterior to the tibia. Instead of having a muscle that extends the big toe, we've got a muscle that flexes the big toe. Instead of having a muscle that extends the rest of the toes, we've got a muscle that flexes the rest of the toes, okay? So therefore, this one here, the one that if you were to track it round, goes to the big toe. This one's gonna be flexor hallucis longus. This one around here, 
which again, if you follow the tendon, goes to the rest of the toes on the other side. So that one's going to be flexor digitorum longus. And then we've got this one in the middle, which if you look at it, it's actually directly behind the tibia. So that tells us that it's going to be tibialis posterior, which again makes sense if we have an anterior one. And so that is just that quick little introduction into the muscles of the leg. Thank you.